installing security cameras. Parts of the city were brought to a halt at lunchtime today during a protest by about 2,000 members of the Coptic Church. They're outraged by last week's massacre of seven churchgoers in Egypt and carried coffins to the Egyptian embassy in protest. Brett McLeod was there. There was a rare show of unity from various Christian denominations as they supported Melbourne's Coptic community in a protest of dramatic symbolism. We are in mourning for what is actually happening for the, uh, uh, um, for the Coptic Christians uh, and, and those that are killed. Seven people died last week when gunmen opened fire as they left church near Luxor on the Coptic Christmas Eve after what they claim has been years of persecutions of Egypt's Christian minority. The protest today was taken to the door of the Egyptian consulate in Melbourne though a delegation went inside to make their feelings known. What? Islamic extremists are doing and the lack of action on the part of the Egyptian government. We want things to change. We want hope for our people. We want peace. The protesters say the killings have been condemned by leaders across Europe and the Vatican. But their complaint is that the Australian government has been too quiet. And I would love to see the Australian government to take a strong stance and to support the Christians of Egypt. There is 70,000 Coptic Christians living here in Australia. I think our government needs to hear our voice. Brett McLeod, Nine News.